there are great talent pools. Um, if you forget borders, then we call it the democratization of opportunity. So mm -hmm. in other words, you, know, you can hire great talent anywhere in the world. And you know, if you look at working parents, if you look at people that are geographically in inaccessible places, but they still have access to technology. And what we're seeing is some amazing places um, which wouldn't spring to mind, such as Nigeria. It's one of the best places right now anywhere for accessing front-end and back-end developers, for example. Um, slightly off piece, but you know, it, it's a really interesting area, the accessibility to great talent. Um, and uh, if you give people a chance who they wouldn't normally get a chance or the most employees wouldn't look at them, you tend mm. to find they're better leaders and you tend to find that you get lower attrition with them as well. So mm. I'd recommend that. Um, going back to your question uh, to me, um, I think if you are gonna, going to take advantage of a global talent pool, you really need to um, decide, first of all, uh, you know, is it to open a new market? Is it for a back-end uh, call center type or help desk? And then depending on that, you can have a look at the markets available. But again, you know, I've mentioned an example of Nigeria, there's Mexico, there's Poland, there's so many great places in the world where there's good talent. So once you've identified that, um, you have to be able to get into market very quickly. What we do at GP is uh, um, we're traditionally known for employer of record, which is where we can hire workers into our entities. So rather than a two or a three year wait to set up a business, you can do it overnight and have people employed mm -hmm. compliantly and paid in the local currency. Uh, you have to be very careful uh, if you are gonna hire people globally, because uh, first of all, you do need to make sure you have a policy around uh, what is the expectation of those workers? Uh, as we work more what we call um, asynchronously, mm -hmm. um, you know, different time zones, different languages, it really becomes about being able to ensure that you can measure performance of individuals, that you can be culturally appropriate, um, that you can be compliant in how you employ them uh, and how you pay them as well. So there's, there's a lot to look at there. We can help with this employer record, but sometimes it is you know, just as beneficial to set up an entity and go that route as well. Um, but you know, making sure that the expectation of the worker is understood, what's expected of them, when are they supposed to be online, making sure that you're empathetic to their time zones and so on. 